rich Russians scramble to buy luxury goods as rubble plunges. Burberry pauses all shipments by Tyler Durden. Wealthy Russians are scrambling to buy luxury goods to preserve their wealth as worldwide sanctions in response to the invasion of Ukraine has sent the ruble plunging in recent days. According to Bulgari spa CEO Jan Kristof Baban, sales in Russian stores has, has risen in the last few, few days after international financial sanctions sharply restricted movement of cash, Bloomberg reports. In the short term, he has probably boosted the business, he said in an interview with the outlet, describing the company's jewelry as a safe investment. How long will it last? It is difficult to say, because indeed with the swift measures fully implemented, it might make it difficult, if not impossible, to export to Russia, Babon added, referring to Russia's ouster from the SWIFT financial messaging system. And while many consumer brands ranging from Apple to Nike and several energy giants such as BP, Shell and Exxon have announced a pullout from Russia, luxury brands have thus far attempted to continue operating in the country, with the exception of Burberry, which has now paused all shipments to Russia. Bulgari, owned by Louis Vuitton, Moet and Hennessy SE, is far from alone. Richemont Cartier is still selling jewelry and watches. Swatch Group's Omega timepieces are still available, as are Rolexes. All are continuing to make sales and trying to strike an apolitical stance. Bloomberg. We are there for the Russian people and not for the political world, said Babam. We operate in many different countries that have periods of uncertainty and tensions. Burberry, on the other hand, will no longer ship to Russia until further notice, according to Bloomberg, citing operational challenges amid the Ukraine uh, situation. This is a fast-moving situation, and we continue to monitor developments closely, a spokesman told the outlet, adding that the company is focused on supporting our people and partners in Ukraine and Russia and has donated to the British Red Cross Ukraine Appeal. These are incredibly difficult times for many people, and our thoughts are with all those impacted by the crisis. Luxury watches and jewelry can hold and even appreciate in value amid economic turmoil, yet allowing wealthy Russians a financial life raft has created a potential public relations issue, according to the report. It's true that luxury brands could decide not to serve the Russian market. Rationally, this would be this would be a cost to them, possibly outweighed by the positive communication image that they get in other markets, said Bernstein analyst Luka Solka. Sales in Russia and to Russians abroad account for less than 2% of overall revenue at Louis Vuitton Mouet in Hennessy and Swatch Group and less than 3% at Richmond, a relatively immaterial level according to a report this week by Edward Oban and fellow analyst Morgan Stanley. That's due in part to Russian income, income and wealth disparities, with a small number of billionaire oligarchs living way beyond the means of ordinary people. The average monthly wage in Moscow is about 113,000 rubles, 1,350 at pre-invasion exchange rates, dollars, 1,350 dollars at pre-invasion exchange rate and much lower in rural regions, according to Bloomberg. Meanwhile, Europe's financial war with wealthy Russian has, Russians has escalated, as Switzerland has become the latest player to break with their historic neutrality and enforce European Union sanctions, in an attempt to pressure oligarchs to lean on President Vladimir Putin to end the invasion of Ukraine. Switzerland, home to 8.6 million people, has long been a favorite destination for wealthy Russians thanks to its discretion and light-touch regulation, according to Bloomberg. The, the Basel-based Bank for International Settlements, BIS, shows Russian residents and companies held a combined $100 billion in Swiss, in Swiss banks, which is more than double the roughly $5 billion held in United Kingdom institutions 
or UK institutions. That figure does not include brokerage accounts, investments, or assets held through offshore companies. Private bankers have estimated that rich Russians hold, hold in excess of 100 billion across the country lenders. One person put the figure at 300 billion, equal to nearly 40% of the Swiss economy. Swiss allure. Historically, more Russians depo deposit, more Russian deposits have come from Switzerland. Had, no, sorry, ha, have come to, not from Switzerland. Over the last two years, deposits in Swiss institutions by Russians increased significantly after falling between 2013 and 2018. Safe haven. Deposits in Switzerland from Russia increased in the last two years. Source, BIS. Now, some of those assets will be subject to freezes if they're linked to any of the hundreds of Russian officials and entities, including Putin, put under uh, Putin, put under European Union sanctions. According to the report, the Swiss government will implement the, the European Union sanctions with the immediate effect after spending the weekend taking flack from opposition politicians and editorials in leading Swiss papers, as well as from other governments to join, to join the sanctions. The European Union sanctions include six of Russia's wealthiest oligarchs, Alexei Mordachev, Mikhail Friedman, Peter Avon, Alisher Uzmanov, Gennady Timchenko, and Alexander Ponomarenko. <laughs> 